Long time no see, am I right? It has gotten that time again where we desperately need to clean. I desperately need to clean. <laughs> December was pretty rough. February has been really rough. And I haven't been using my... Hello. Basically, my office has become unusable to me, but has been Miles' favorite playground because, I mean, what cat wouldn't love this disaster? So my goal today is to get this office usable. So if you need to clean along with me, if you just want to put this on for inspiration, go ahead. I don't care. As someone with invisible disabilities and someone who just genuinely does not care what other people think, this is going to be a very judgment-free, body doubling, clean, declutter with me, real-time video with very quiet music and uh, occasionally I'll pop up for some commentary, so if that's what you are looking for, you're in the right place. Oh! So let's get off the floor. <laughs> Excuse my dishwasher in the background, but I guess we need to start with showing you... <laughs> this looks so much worse on camera. Uh what my space looks like right now. This is my office. I don't sleep in here or anything. We live in a very small space, so uh, all of my stuff just kind of ends up here. Right, Miles? So, yeah, this is what we're dealing with. Whoa, good jump! And hopefully by the end of this video and of the end of today, in my timeline, I will be able to use this space again because obviously I can't really use it right now. Okay, so I've kind of nailed down my cleaning routine into a few steps. The first one is to like set the mood or set the environment. No matter what the temperature, I always like to have my window cracked just a little bit just to get some fresh air moving. I've got my giant water bottle in a central location. I've got my little buddy here, right Miles? I've got my favorite podcast. Whoa, which is Ologies by Allie Ward, which is a very fun, like funny and educational podcast in my ear. I also recommend just listening to upbeat music that makes you want to move or something that you don't have to pay too much attention to so that your focus stays on cleaning. So, oh yeah, I also have some comfy clothes on. Sometimes I like to wear shoes, um, like my Crocs or something when I'm cleaning because the sensory input of just like stepping on random things on the ground bothers me. But today I think I'll be okay without shoes. I have a feeling you're gonna be seeing a lot of miles in this video. What? He says, don't clean up my fortress. Okay, so setting the mood is done, which means the next step is to pave a walkway because we can't clean if we can't access the room, which is why I've been standing at the entrance for so long. This box right here is... After I get all the other stuff, stuff off of it, it, is clothes that I need to go through. to see if I'm keeping them or not, and they don't need to be in here right now. So we're just gonna take these on out of here. Perfect. And now, we have a walkway through here, and now this is another roadblock. And it doesn't really matter where you put stuff right now because it's all gonna go somewhere else. There we go. Easier than I thought. Look at better already, am I right? I'm not very right, but... <laughs> oh well. Alright, now the rest of the steps are gonna take some time. My next step is usually to get dishes and trash. Luckily, since I haven't been here in a long time, and also I just get grossed out 
by food residue and stuff. There shouldn't be too many dishes in here, and if there are, they're pretty much clean already. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of trash though, so. Part of my setup that I didn't mention is I got a trash bag on my door hook. And I also have a few bags of paper trash from the last time I tried to clean that are still in here. So trash bags are gonna go in the hallway and then I'm gonna do a quick sweep and throw some trash in a bag because there's obviously gonna be more <laughs> when I uncover the piles and piles of stuff. So let's do that. I have to show you this real quick. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Sweet boy. Hi guys. Any more clothes I find, I'm just throwing out there with my box of clothes. Okay, I think I got 
all of the trash, at least on a surface level that I could find. Oh wait, I forgot about the surface literally right in front of me. can start on the next step, which is finding things and putting them in the general area where they go, <laughs> if that makes sense. So they don't have to go away and organize yet, they just have to go to their home base. For example, all the yarn on my desk needs to go to my yarn closet. All the necklaces on my nightstand need to go to my jewelry area. I apologize that my voice sounds like this. I didn't notice it until I started filming. But I went skiing two days ago and I forgot to bring my scarf that goes above my face. And I only have my thinnest hat with me, so I think I gave myself a cold. And also my legs are on fire, so it's a miracle that I'm even cleaning to begin with. And if they're tangled, we'll deal with that later. I'm also going to go ahead and throw all of the crochet hooks I can find into this little bag so that I don't lose them if I throw them all over here. <laughs> I'm also just going to throw all the little half-finished projects in here as well to keep them a little bit organized. Okay, I think I got all of the yarn, and it's truly amazing how much of my messes end up being yarn as a crochet artist and someone who runs a business. Who would have thought? Also, Miles is very happy about this yarn pile. Right, buddy? I've had to keep my office door closed while it's looked like this. Uh, so the cats don't choke on anything or try to eat anything weird. 
So that'll be another motivation to get this thing clean, is to let the cats come in here without supervision. Hello, little Mosey. I had to clear some space off of my SD card, which took like an hour. <laughs> and I just watched TikTok and ate some snacks. And now I'm feeling very, uh, like I wanna just keep laying down, but I can't. We need to keep cleaning. So if you wanna join me to get my body back in movement mode, just gonna stretch a little bit. I've been having uh, some chest things. I was gonna say chest pains, but that sounds a little too serious. I don't know much about it, except I think it's called like a precordial catch or something. It's kind of like a muscle spasm in between my ribs. It basically feels like a muscle cramp, like right under my ribs. And it flares up every now and then. And this week, I've had a few like cramp sessions. And it's feeling kind of like stuck today. So sometimes if I take a deep breath or today I've had to sneeze a few times and when I go to take the deep breath to sneeze, <laughs> it hurts really bad and stops me from sneezing. So that's been fun. So I'm trying to be gentle on myself today and clean at my own pace. not overexert myself, but I love doing this. Just kind of moving around if you don't know how to stretch properly. Just get a little weird with it. Especially if you have your favorite music on, it's a little bit easier. But I feel like it just gets me to transition from sitting mode to moving mode. and it really helps. Okay, so now we can go back to cleaning. So when I came back in here, I remembered that I have some trash bags that are also full of clothes that I need to go through. So we're gonna put these in timeout with all my other clothes. Normally I wouldn't block the path to the bathroom like this, but I know I'm going to be moving this stuff by the end of the day, so it's okay. Hey, Moose Girl. That's just because I know my limits, so I recommend if you know that you have less energy or less time, try to be mindful of where you are putting things. I feel like it's better to have accessible areas and a bunch of piles of stuff on the side than to put every single little thing in its place first and then work on functionality. Especially with a big project like this, functionality comes first and you can work on the details later. Right. Pretty girl. And hydrate. Okay, so when we last left off, I think we were putting things in the general area they belong. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Got more craft supplies that also go over my yarn area. I know that looks like trash, but it's crinkle paper for my fidget stuff. Packaging. Craft supplies. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. I believe this is trash from when I had COVID. Don't worry, there's no food in there. Just tissues and packages and stuff. And you know what? If you have food trash in an area, try not to assign moral value to it. It's the food trash is there because you fed yourself. And food is good for your body. And things can always be cleaned and most importantly, things can always be thrown away. So. I'm pretty sure this cup had emergency in it. <laughs> From when I had COVID. No mold though, just residue. But this dish can be washed, and if you have something, a cup or a bowl or something, that kind of makes you nauseous to think about cleaning, I won't tell anyone if you just throw it away. It's better to get it out of your head, out of your space. Throwing away a few dishes is not going to ruin the environment. stuff in a different place. Start with the obvious stuff first if you feel lost. Like this, all this nail polish. There's so much. I didn't know I owned so much nail polish. There's makeup and such. jewelry and things over here. Got perfume. I got jewelry. I got this amazing custom necklace from Citrus Witchcraft, which I will probably post a short of or something so you can see that more there. Bolo ties. Yeah, let's just keep putting things where they belong. Oh wait, one last side note. My friend Nova designed this mug and you can find their stuff at Starcatcher Studio. It's so cute. Okay, let's go.
Okay, so I feel like I've gotten to a point where most things are in their home, at least the obvious stuff. And I feel confident now starting on individual areas. So I feel like the first area to start would be right here, and then I can sort all of this stuff into its own, their own sections and everything. So these two bags are actually from Christmas. I've just kind of kept some of the stuff that I got for Christmas in there, which means some of the stuff I don't need since, you know, I haven't gotten it out of this bag. Like, I don't need a US Olympics calendar. So that's gonna go in a trash pile. Got pet sweaters in here, got some comfy socks, I'll keep those. This little guy. I've got some tea in here. That I'm going to keep. My sister got us matching cat socks. You wanna put these on? Maybe later. Dish towel. I tend to only like higher quality hot chocolate, so I feel like this will be the first thing in the Goodwill or Donate pile. This is super cute, but am I ever going to use it? I feel like a little kid would get more enjoyment out of this, so Goodwill pile. Corn. I don't even know if that's still good, but I'm gonna put it in the get rid of pile and see if somebody I know wants it. Insole things for my shoes, that shouldn't even be in there. These jewelry boxes I do like to reuse, so I'll throw that over with my packaging stuff. So I have a lot of collections. And this is my newest deck of playing cards. I love my playing card collection. And it has all of these foraging things and little facts about them. Extremely cute. Also, my boyfriend's parents really nailed me with this year's gifts and got me a <laughs> trash origami book that shows you how to make origami out of like gum wrappers and magazine clippings and stuff, which is I don't know, there's some deeper philosophical thing that I could say about that, but 
I gotta keep going. Now that this bag is empty, I think it's going to be the get rid of bag. I also reuse gift bags that I receive every year. So those are going to go with my holiday stuff. Same with all these little ornaments that I got for Christmas as well. Look how cute this one is. Oh! It doesn't look like we made any progress, but at least now these bags are empty. So this get rid of bag. I'm gonna put this oh. I'm gonna put right outside the door. And these reusable bags go in the kitchen. So it'll go there for now. Like I said, I know I'm gonna clean everything up by the end of the day, so. There is stuff still in these bags, but we can go through that later. This is for my craft shows. Excuse me, Rosie.
Alright, I can tell I'm getting burnt out with this area. And Miles is really enjoying eating everything. I'm gonna once again make a little hallway so that I can move on to another area. And I think I wanna do my desk. I have desk work I need to do. And I just want a space to work. I like to make a pile of paper stuff, if that makes sense. Because I don't have the energy to go through everything now and figure out if this is stuff I need to keep or not. So even just putting all my paper things in a pile is very helpful. It's all in one place. That's all in one place when I need to go through it. Okay, from a distance, my desk looks really good, <laughs> but with a close-up, you can see that I just picked up a saltine sleeve <laughs> and all the crumbs went everywhere. And over here is where I keep my candles and stuff, so there's a bunch of stuff everywhere. And it's not the prettiest surface, but we're not doing surface cleaning yet. Can't do cleaning. Can't do surface cleaning if you don't have any surfaces. Another part that I want to get to a usable state is my futon. This one won't be too hard. I still have yet to find a home for all of my hats, but they're gonna go with my clothes for now. It's craft supplies. For some reason, I subscribe to Interview Magazine, <laughs> and it's gigantic. I planned on using this stuff for collages, but now, like, I don't know what to do with this. Hello? It's gigantic. 
For now, I'm gonna put it back behind the ottoman with, or the futon, with my other magazines. This big pile of stuff <laughs> is decorations. Things I was in the middle of doing like a room makeover. And then the rest of this happened. So I don't have a better spot for all of this right now. Yeah, I don't know, we'll figure that out later. This is a weighted blanket that me and my mom made. Whew. And we made it so heavy. So, listen to this. Alright, so. Even though it's not the prettiest, I can definitely use the couch a little bit now. Stop eating everything. See what I mean? Do not question my plastic bags full of plastic bags. You will find out the purpose for those in about a month. I am getting winded. It's also getting warmer outside. I think it's supposed to be in the 70s today in Ohio, which is, I'm not gonna comment on the climate, but it's February in Ohio and it's 70 degrees, you know what I mean. So, and my camera's almost done. So I'm going to just kind of like a tornado, run around and put things in places and then charge my camera and We'll be back. See if I can make this. Hey, my softball experience was not a waste.
know. <laughs> Another motivator, another motivator. If you clean your room, you might find money. I gotta say, it feels really good to sit on my couch again. <laughs> so it's only noon. I've been at it for about an hour back and forth. And while there are spaces that I do really need to clean, for example, all my craft show stuff, all my yarn junk down there, just a few bits and pieces everywhere. I've also had a really exhausting week and I'm starting to feel the effects of that. And I have some other stuff that I need to do today. And I already feel really accomplished getting my desk cleared off and the futon and having a walking path. So I think what I'm gonna do is just surface clean my desk, my coffee table thing, and then do a quick sweep with the vacuum and call it a day because I feel myself shutting down and usable was the goal today. And I think we're, uh, hiccup, <laughs> I think we're gonna get there. Also, if you've been here before, you know I love Olipops. This is not sponsored. <laughs> 
And they just came out with a lemon lime, so. This is gonna be my first time trying it. There's a weird flavor in here that I recognize and I can't really put my finger on it. I think it's key lime juice. There's key lime juice in here. Got my silly little drink in. Uh, time to surface clean. Favorite cleaner to use is this is this Mrs. Myers uh, basil household spray. I don't have any harsher cleaners right now, um, but I think it's better to just clean what you have instead of not cleaning at all. So this is gonna work for right now. All right, so much cleaner.
Alright, so now we're going to do a quick vacuum. However, obviously vacuuming requires things to be off the floor. So I'm just going to do a quick sweep. Get some stuff off of the floor. Alright, now that all the little clutter is off the ground, it looks a lot cleaner. As long as you don't look back there. <laughs> Which will be its own project because I need to go through all my craft show stuff. And that's pretty much all this stuff is, is display merchandise. And... I need to figure out my yarn situation, but <laughs> that won't be today. I actually hate vacuums. I have ever since I was a kid. Before anyone knew that I was autistic. So anytime before last year, my family would always joke about how terrified I was of vacuums and how I would scream and cry <laughs> and hold my ears. But, you know, I'm an adult and I have to do it anyway. Um, this is where the part about wearing shoes comes in. I don't know why I feel better vacuuming with shoes on, but I do. And I'm also just going to put my earplugs back in. That'll help a little bit.
Uh... All right, check it out. If you ignore most surfaces, I think this office looks pretty usable. So all I have left to do today is move these clothes back in, probably just in that little corner over there. Throw this stuff away, put my Christmas stuff away. I put the rest of everything in its place while I was charging my camera. It only took a few minutes. And yeah, what do you think, Mose? We got a livable office. Wow. I think today I had grand plans to completely revolutionize my office. And my body and also the constraints of time and space are telling me that it's not gonna happen today. <laughs> and that's perfectly fine because let me remind you what my office looked like this morning and for all of 2023 so far. So I'm actually very proud of what we did today. Little by little, I'm gonna work on the other areas. Let me know if anyone is interested in videos of that in like organizing my yarn closet, organizing my jewelry and makeup and my show stuff, um, general decluttering. I've been trying to take care of my closet for two years now, <laughs> hence all the shopping bags and stuff full of clothes that I don't know if I want anymore. So I will probably do a video about that. Stick around for more crochet content. It has been a very slow start to the year, as I'm sure you can tell, but I have a lot of fun things planned for you guys, or at least I think they're fun, so <laughs> subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date on that. I don't think I like this flavor, actually. I hope you were either able to get something done or able to feel a little bit inspired to just put one cup in the sink, maybe? Put one sock in the laundry? And remember that... Hold on. Oh my god, I'm so glad I turned the camera. <laughs> Miles! What is that? Oh my goodness. That looked fake. I had a feeling something pretty cool was gonna happen. But anyway, let me know if this video helped you at all. Give it a little like. I believe in you. You are not a gross person for having a gross space. The people who shame you for that have no understanding of mental and physical illnesses, apparently. So just remember to stay hydrated and take frequent breaks and rest when your body tells you to. And you deserve a space that serves you. And I'm probably just going to keep rambling, so I'm going to stop the video there. You want to say bye, Miles? Say bye! Bye, friends. See you next time.